It's Monday again, time for a new trick. Today's trick is for developers battling Hibernate or JPA in legacy projects, where it's kind of expensive to try out new queries and whatnot. Let's check it out. All right, imagine I'm working in a legacy project, on a legacy project. And usually you have a couple of problems associated with that. So you have uh, long startup times. It takes you one, two, three, four, five minutes to start up. And to validate, for example, you build a new query, an HQL query, and you want to see if it runs manually. Uh, the other way would be having automated tests. Sometimes they are lacking. Sometimes they also take a really long while to um, boot up. And you just want to play with the query and see if you can maybe optimize some things or if it's right in the first place and whatnot. And uh, what you can do is imagine you're inside of a workflow, maybe a credit card payment or whatever, and you're in a bean that has a session factory or an entity manager because it executes the actual database queries. And then what you can do is you can simply put a breakpoint here somewhere. So after you get your session, and begin a transaction. You run the whole thing in debug mode, right? You're here. And then you can do an evaluate expression in here. Um, just a quick um, note. So there's two modes to this editor in IntelliJ. So if it's just a one-liner, yeah, then that's fine, expression. Otherwise, code fragment, because you can put in as many lines of code as you want, including um, auto-completion and whatnot. And now in here, what you can do is simply say, session create query, and then write your queries and execute them. And here, if I just try to evaluate now, then I'll just get my uh, exception here. Users is not mapped from users, which is right. It doesn't make sense. I don't have with my session factory, I don't have a bean or an entity called users, but you can write your HQL here and um, do whatever you want find out if stuff is working. Instead of having to restart all the time or executing tests all the time, you can basically evaluate as much as you want. And that is often a time saver in legacy projects. Right, what more can I say? Stay tuned for the next trick next Monday.